the Breath of the wild -a is back. Welcome back, warriors. It is time to reclaim another divine beast. I'm so excited to announce the third main quest for the Breath of the wild -a which, if you aren't familiar, is a readathon inspired by The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild and it's been running for a few years now. We have a mix of short rounds which are a week long and longer rounds which are a month long. If you'd like to know a little bit more about it I have some links in the description to the website which has lots of details as well but very very exciting to be sharing that the third main quest where we are going to be reclaiming the Divine Beast Bar Meadow is coming. So dear warriors we will be traveling from Death Mountain through the Korok Forest onto Hebra, where we will be finding Divine Beast Var Meadow flying above Rito Village. And if you'll be joining us for this quest, it will be running from the 1st until the 30th of June. As with our main quests, this is team-based, so you need to choose which team you would like to join. If you've participated in previous rounds and you're on one team, you're more than welcome to continue with that team. You can choose a different team if you'd prefer, it's totally up to you. But each team has its own unique perk, which I'll get to in a minute, as well as its own path that it follows from Death Mountain to the Divine Beast. So you'll have slightly different reading challenges from the other teams. And each team is guided by a champion who will take you along your path from Death Mountain to the Divine Beast. And I'm so excited to be sharing who our champions co-hosts are going to be for this round. Champion Mifa for this round is Aspasia from Asparagus is Reading. Champion Derek is Jaya from Jaya's Corner, a familiar face. Champion Ravali is Charlene from My Bookish Behaviour. And champion Champion Obosa, who you may also recognize, is Rochelle from Radio Rochelle. There are a range of different perks that you can utilize during this round. Let's begin with the team perks. So as I mentioned, each team has its own unique perk. Each of these perks is able to be used once. So if you're on Team Mifa, you can use one book to complete two challenges. Team Derek is able to use one partially read book to count towards a challenge. In order to complete challenges for the readathon, you must start and finish a book within the time constraints of the round. Unless you're in Team Derek, you may choose to finish a book that you'd started prior to the readathon beginning, or if you DNF a book, you can also count that. If you're on Team Rivali, instead of drawing a Blood Moon card, you can read any book that you wish. The Blood Moon card I'll go into a little bit more detail, but it is a random reading challenge generator. So when you get to this challenge, you don't need to draw a prompt. You can just choose whatever book you'd like. And finally, Urbosa. For this one, you can choose to swap one of the reading challenges on your team's path for a reading challenge from any other team. The only restriction here is that you cannot swap out the Divine Beast Var Meadow. This is one that everyone must complete. The non-team perks. First up, we have the Glider. This perk is acquired by successfully completing all five rune challenges from the Great Plateau mini rounds. So these are the week-long challenges run between all of our main rounds. If you have the Glider perk, instead of following the set path to complete all of the reading challenges as laid out on the map. Again, I'll get to that in just a little bit. You'll be able to complete the reading challenges in any order that you wish. And finally, we have the horse perk. So this is acquired by completing all three of the bonus challenges in any of the main quests, such as this one. If you completed the bonus challenges from one of the Divine Beast rounds, you will have one horse, which means you can start the readathon two days early. If you've completed the bonus challenges from a second Divine Beast round, you'll have two horses and you can start the readathon four days early. After this round, you can essentially have three horses, which means during the next Breath of the Wildathon, you could start the readathon seven days early. And finally, four horse perks is 10 days early. So, in terms of this round of the readathon, if you have one horse perk, you'll be able to start the readathon on the 30th of May. And if you have two horses, Horses, you can start on the 28th of May. If you've missed out on getting the glider or the horse perk, there are a couple of things that you can do in order to acquire them. You haven't missed out entirely, don't worry. Your first option is to participate in any of the future Great Plateau mini rounds. So this is hosted yearly, so there's definitely more opportunities for you to get the glider. Another option is to do any of the existing rounds of the readathon at any time that you wish, you can do it in your own time if you need to catch up a little bit. So our reading challenges. Here is our lovely map. As you can see here, indicated by start here, every team will be beginning at Death Mountain. The reading challenge for this is to read a book with orange or red on the cover. All of the teams will then continue to the Korok 
Forest. The challenges are slightly different from each team here and require you to read a book that has a certain amount of words in the title. I'll go through this when I go through all of the team challenges. From here, you'll then see that the teams diverge along different paths, each with a unique challenge and each with a blood moon. And then all teams will be heading towards the same destination, Divine Beast Bar Meadow, where the reading challenge for this is Air Buzzword. Read a book with air or any related word in the title. But but now for all of our team reading challenges. First up, let's walk through Team Mipha. Team Mipha's first challenge is Death Mountain. Secondly is Korok Forest, and for this you are to read a book with a one word title. Next up is the Blood Moon card. This challenge is our random challenge generation system. So essentially you need to use a random number generator or you could roll a D10 in order to find a number between one and 10 and then head to the page on our website. The link is in the description below where you can find out what reading challenge you've been given. Team Mipha's fourth challenge is South Tabantha Snowfield. For this, you need to read a book with snow or ice on the cover. And then finally, of course, Divine Beast Bar Meadow. Next up, Team Derek. First of all, starting with Death Mountain and then proceeding to Korok Forest, where the reading challenge is to read a book with a two word title. After that, you'll continue to the Woodland Stable, which is to read a book with a woodland creature on the cover. Next is the Blood Moon card, where you randomly generate a prompt. And then finally, Divine Beast Var Meadow. Team Ravali begins at Death Mountain, continues to Korok Forest. The reading challenge is to read a book with a three word title. They'll then continue to Thai Flow Ruins, which is to read a dark book. Now you can interpret this how you'd like. You could choose a genre such as Dark Academia, dark romance, or you could interpret this as reading a book that has some darker themes or topics. It's up to you how you'd like to interpret this one. Then there is the Blood Moon card, and finally, Divine Beast Var Meadow. Team Urbosa will begin at Death Mountain, then proceed to Korok Forest, where you will read a book with a four-word title. You'll then continue to the Forgotten Temple. The reading challenge for this is to read a book you've been putting off for whatever reason. You'll then continue to the Blood Moon, and finally, Divine Beast Bar Meadow. You'll also spot three additional challenges on the board. These are our optional bonus challenges. So as I mentioned, if you complete all three, you can acquire or upgrade your horse perk, but you don't have to complete the bonus challenges in order to complete the entire readathon, if that makes sense. First up, we have Hebra Summit, and this is to read the highest rated book on your TBR. Lomay Labyrinth is to read a book entirely in a new reading spot or spots. And finally, Rito Village. This challenge is to participate in at least one Fang and Bone challenge. So this is a community challenge, not a reading challenge. Throughout the month on Twitter and on Discord, we will be randomly announcing when the Fang and Bone has appeared. And when the store appears, you'll be presented with a prompt or a challenge that you're encouraged to participate in. These are just community challenges that you can either respond to directly or share something on your own social media platforms. These are entirely a surprise, so I'm not going to be sharing any of the details just yet. But an example of what it could be, share a photo of your bookmark or tell us your favorite book, your least favorite book. Just, it is going to be a prompt where you're encouraged to respond in some way or share something. For any of the reading challenges, if you are struggling to think of a book for that challenge, be sure to go and join our Discord server. I've created challenges for every single prompt where people can either request or they can just hop on in and suggest books that they think that would work for the challenges. As always, there are some frequently asked questions, so I have included those in the description of this video. If there's anything else that you'd like to know, be sure to check there first. Otherwise, please do let me know in the comments down below, firstly, if you'll be participating in the readathon, and also if you have any other questions or need anything clarified. But I would absolutely recommend that you join the Discord server, myself, Red, and all of the lovely champions joining us for this round of the readathon will be there to respond to any questions, but also host reading sprints throughout the month. In addition to that, there will be a couple of live shows hosted both here and simultaneously on my Twitch channel, where we'll be running some live reading sprints. So if you'd like to be notified of when we will be hosting Posting those, uh, either again join the Discord or follow the Twitter. And I think the final thing I want to mention is that there are a bunch of resources for this round, which are linked down below. 
also on the Discord too. There are some images which you can use to share your TBR. There are some reading trackers as well as a story graph challenge. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're excited about the Breath of the Wildathon. I am so happy that it is back. I know that some of you will probably ask if I'm planning on vlogging. As always, yes. I always do film, but the editing is another story. I always aim <laughs> to share a vlog. I cannot wait to read with you all and chat in the Discord. See you next time. Bye.